So we go through the 18 form Qigong sequence uh, with Pilates set up or the Pilates breath rather than sort of meditative breathing into the belly like a balloon. We're gathering in, taking the navel towards the spine, zipping up pelvic floor. Um, so again, you've got the pelvic floor, which goes from your hip to hip, basically. B line, bikini line, belt line, whatever you want to call that. And that's putting like cling film on the third layer deep, your corset muscle wrapping around here. So you've got this B line going across here. And three layers deep, so we've got three layers of abdominals, we've got the corset which is linking onto this like cling film. So as soon as the pelvic floor is engaged, that links onto the corset. The only way to explain your pelvic floor, is you're on a long journey, you'll go to the toilet, and you'll stop yourself going, that's your pelvic floor, okay? As soon as you engage that, you engage the corset. So you zip up pelvic floor, and that engages the corset muscle. You scoop out your abdominals, take the navel towards the spine, and zip up pelvic floor. And that's going to help you breathe low and deep up here to these lower lobes of lungs. Okay, so even before you start, get the breathing, the Pilates breathing. You're just going to get the two middle fingers touching underneath the breastbones. Again, allow the shoulders just to melt down in towards the body and just engage the pelvic floor and tuck in the belly button. Again, I'll go in a lot more detail with that, but I'm going to keep it basic. While you're doing that, you're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through pursed lips. Again, you're not gonna do this with your shoulders, allow them just to drop down in towards the body. And again, so simply as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, that helps you breathe anywhere but the belly button. It helps you breathe into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Again, this helps you use the core in the most efficient manner the corset muscle and pelvic floor in the most efficient manner, helping you breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping you breathe low and deep into these fish gills, wide and full, into these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. Okay, lovely. So even as you're breathing through the nose and you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, that's gonna help you breathe Low and deep, you can think of the analogy of someone just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go, or someone opening an umbrella inside your rib cage and letting go. Breathing, adding width to the lungs and length to the out breath. As you breathe out through pursed lips, even imagine you're blowing out a candle through pursed lips. Okay, and you just repeat that. And we're gonna link that to motion, link that to breathing. Sorry, link that to movement even. Okay, the first movement, as with all the Tai Chi and Qigong sequences, is generally Tai Chi beginning, coming up and down with the hands. So we're going to link that to motion, calibrate and synchronize the breath with the movement. So from here, we're going to go back. Again, knees are soft, slightly soft, maybe hip width apart. And again, not trying to chat them in the feet, shoulders down, and just simply relax. Again, zip up pelvic floor, scoop out the abdominals. Take the navel towards the spine, and you're going to simply breathe in and exhale through pursed lips. Just wiping away the mist from the day, and you're going to breathe in again and exhale and just let go. Even imagine that trickle of water just running down the back and dispersing, mounting the shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. That lovely soft bead between the shoulder blades. So shoulders mounting towards the body. Breathing in and exhaling. Just wiping the mist away from the day. If you want to sink down deeper, you can do. Or just stay as you are. Again, everything nice, soft, free and movable. The joints are soft. And again, even imagine them roots just growing up and nourishing the body from the floor. As you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, that's gonna help you breathe anywhere but the belly button. If you wanna change this, you can do. You can just come up on the toes and exhale and sink deeper, optional. You can even breathe in, come up and flutter the arms at the top. 
gathering against the instabilities, you come up on the toes and exhale down. Again, that lovely resonant out breath. As you come down, so you're going to breathe in, come up. If you want to add another little bit on, you can just add that instability. Again, make them nice and small, these motions, a millimetre or even smaller than a millimetre. We're trying to mimic, mimic these micro moves, these shakes of everyday life that we stabilise against. Exhaling down, breathing in, coming up. Coming down again. If you want to soften the knees, feel free. Breathing in, coming up. Flutter the hands if you like. Again, gathering against that instability, coming from the toes and exhaling down. Again, you can experiment with this. You can just breathe in, coming up, gathering against the instability, navel towards the spine, and even. <laughs> Really fire that breath. <sighs> Breathing come up. <sighs> and really fire that breath. <sighs> and all the tension going towards the floor. As in that instability, both ends, fluttering the hand here and exhaling down. Again, just adding instability in there, optional. You can play around with that. And again, the micro moves are just mimicking these little shakes of everyday life that the pelvic floor and the corset stabilize against. Again, you can gather in, navel towards the spine quite a lot, or you can just make it a little bit. Again, generally in everyday life, it's about 30% of your maximum pulling in power and maximum pelvic floor engagement. It's generally about 30% of your maximum. So you can roughly judge that uh, for walking around in everyday life, etc. Or you might want to really gather in and get a real deep core on there, engaged. So again, it's optional. Again, lots of different variations to that. Again, adding the instability just makes it a little bit harder for the pelvic floor and the corset to stabilize. So you're adding the Pilates principle into a movement. That's all you're doing there. Um, you can get caught up with the traditional you know, uh, Qigong, which is great, but again, it's movement. So again, you're just adding movement with the Pilates set up there. Lovely. So next one's a nice, simple one. Open out a chest, number two of the Pilates 18 Qigong sequence. Lovely. 